Okay, so we're about to do a vlog, baby. So, <laughs> let's get into it. So, if you don't know me, my name is Abia. Welcome to my channel. I'm gonna start vlogging now, and I figured oh, what is the best way to start vlogging than showing you my design process. I am a fashion designer. I have been working as a fashion designer in the industry for the past 10 years, and a couple of years ago, I, well, I've been doing custom swimwear and custom designs but i stopped doing that and officially officially launched like my website and everything a couple of years ago but it was literally just swimsuits and i'm trying to now i'm trying i'm doing resort wear so i just wanted to show you guys a little bit of my design process of things that i will be releasing in 2023 now what i'm gonna show you is literally just the samples because i can't be showing y'all everything that I'm doing um, because I want it to be a surprise but like some of the silhouettes may be the same but the colors are not the same but the first thing I need to do my studio is a hot ass mess look at this a hot ass mess I will never understand when people show like aesthetically their sewing in their living space they're sewing in their working space and it's so neat like as somebody who's actually in here working my shit is a mess so i have my fabric in here um and then there's more rolled up in there i have swimsuit samples in the closet more fabric up there this is just a table of new fabrics and inventory and sketches and diy projects and sketchbooks and oh, it's just a mess I have my inventory in there which is organized I just need to close it stuff is just everywhere like regular crazy samples it's just a mess y'all so first thing I'm about to do more samples and prototypes and stuff I need to finish and add zippers to I hate zippers patterns so first thing I'm about to do is clean this damn room because it is a mess and I can't work like this. So I'm gonna get this organized as, oops. I'm gonna get this organized as best as I can so that I can start working because I want to make a um, sample. It's not gonna be in the correct fabric as of yet, but it's going to be in a fabric that's similar so you guys can kind of get the gist and so I can test it out to see if I like it. And I'm gonna do it in cute fabric that I already have because a lot of this fabric, it needs to go because I need to make room for my um, inventory fabric. So I'm just gonna use this fabric, make a bunch of clothes for me to wear out in the streets, honey. And then um, if I like it, then I'll add it to my line. Okay, so this is my bag of scrap fabric. So basically, well, this is not supposed to be in here. Oh, yes, it is. So basically, before I make my um, samples in my real fabric, I like to you test it out on little scrap pieces of fabric or pieces of fabric where I can't make a full garment out of, like this right here is big enough to make like a bikini bottom or something like that if I'm testing out a new silhouette and I'll just mix whatever like this was part this particular fabric was part of my first line and I honestly probably can make a bottom a back bottom to this for the um, VV swimsuit but I just use these to test out new patterns um, to see if I like it and all of these are fabrics that I've patterns and fabrics that I've used um, for pre from previous lines like this is from my summer 2021 20, collection this is from my first collection 
um, this more fabric. So I like to keep this here in case I'm testing something out and want to um, not use my real fabric because we're not wasting fabrics over here. So this actually needs to go up here. So I have like to keep this because you never know. This can literally make a whole swimsuit. But I have so much of this fabric left so much of it on a roll in the closet, so it's gonna stay in here to test. So, this is my lining. So I like to keep this here under my sewing table. I gotta be careful sitting on this floor because baby, there's pins everywhere. I be having stepping in so many pins, I'm surprised I didn't sit in one on my ass. But I need to vacuum, but got my rulers. I like to call this a machete. It's actually a hip curve. Um, then I like to stick under here. Hold on, let me grab the camera. So this is under my sewing table. It's a mess like everything else. I really just need to spend one day just to like organize like everything. But this is, I don't know what this is, but I like to keep my rulers. Uh, under here from when I'm drafting patterns um, I don't know where my L curve is so I have rulers this also needs to be organized under here measuring tape stapler I have trims under here that I've used or plan to use um, we're testing out markers pens Rotary cutters, scissors, clipping, shears, child, you name it, I got it. Um, color wheel, because sometimes you need to figure out. Hey, girl. Ooh, this is blurry. Color wheel, I just, oh, I don't want to. And then this was a... Uh, it's not, I didn't finish it because I hate this fabric. This fabric is so bad. But this was a top that I'm thinking about doing for, well, I'm not thinking about it. I am going to do it. For my line, I'm going to use a linen fabric, but child is sleep. Hold on, let me show you. Before I take this off, look at this cute little bustier top out of this pattern. Hold on, let me get this, adjust this. It's so cute. I need to iron it so that it'll lay flat. And what do I need to add to this? Oh, I need to add a zipper. There's a lot of things I need to add a zipper to. Like, this whole, all of these need zippers. All of this, one, two, three, not that. Four, five, six, I think that one's done. Six, oh, seven things. This is the skirt to it. I need to add the zipper too. But isn't, oh, and I need to um, hem it, but that's so cute. That's also something that I'm gonna be finishing up this week. Okay, here it is. Um, mind you, ignore it, cause it's not done. Like there's no zipper or anything on it. And then this is why I like to make muslins because this, this is basically what this is. So I can know what to fix in a pattern and I had already fixed it. But look at these, like the sleeves was way too wide, like it's falling off the shoulder. Like look at all this up here, like it's way too wide. So I had taken in a little bit. I had already fixed the pattern. I'm gonna add a zipper to the back. But child, just imagine it. This is so, this is so cute, so cute. Hold on, let me fix it. Okay, here it is. It doesn't really fit the mannequin. Um, this is why I do muslins because you see how this side is way too big. And mind you, this fabric is such, such trash. It feels so cheap and it's so thin. Um, I love the print on it, but this is this print is something that I can easily incorporate and design on my own. It's literally just a brush sleeve. But this is how the sleeve is supposed to look. And the sleeve is given what it's supposed to be given, honey. Um, I had to cut it and fix it and make it fit the way it's supposed to fit because this is how it originally fit and it was just way too big. I know I posted this on my Instagram story and some people were like, oh my God, I want it. I'm like, the fit on this is trash and the fabric is horrible. 
but you will be getting the Alina version because the Alina version is gonna be on and pop it so this is one i am gonna make but it's not gonna be in this color this print and definitely not this fabric okay so my room is borderline clean it's not all the way clean i really honestly don't feel like do doing a deep cleansing Ugh, I'm just not in the mood so i'm literally just gonna just just organize enough to get it like my table is clear <laughs> My table's clear, so I'm good. But I also have um, my CADs. So CADs are my sketches. Not like the fancy fashion illustration sketches. The sketches that I would um, pass to my vendor, pass to my, well I made some of my patterns, pass to a pattern maker, just my technical sketches. Sketches that I would add to my line sheet to show buyers. So I have them catted up. Some of them I'm going to use for my line. Some of them not so much. Some of them shit I'm just going to use to make for my damn self. But um, I have them printed out big, like huge like this. These are a pair of pants. But it's going to take up most of the room on my board. So I actually printed them out smaller just so that I can post it on my um, board and then put like the fabric uh, swatches. Sorry, I got something in my eye on it um, for what I want to do or possibly can do and then I can just save these and put these in my binder so I'm just about to cut these up and put them on the board behind me just so I can just be a little bit more organized and see what I can see like I, again I don't mind showing this because nine times out of ten people unless you see the fabric unless you see the print you really can't in eva e imagine or envision what I'm trying to do. Okay, so it looks like I forgot to cat up a bunch of stuff, which is fine. I mean, I can, I have the cats. I forgot to um, print them out on the cardstock, but I can just do that later. But this is the board. So I have like bodysuits, some tops, some pants, um, some skirts, jumpsuits, some dresses, um, and then I have the swimsuits, but I don't want to show those yet because those are actually already done. Um, so let, this is what I have, and then of course I have space here for like the different fabrics that I plan on using. Like this one right here, I already have. I already somewhat have it sewn. Oh somewhat have it sewn hold on let me hang it on here so this is it right here um, I just have to finish it I need to make some shoulder pads and add the shoulder pads and I need to go to downtown um, the garment district to find a zipper this color um this is actually fabric that I got from one of my old jobs it's like a, a, a stretch crepe it's actually really nice fabric um, they developed this in Turkey and then they had yardage left over to be approved and I took this and a red one but this is just something shit that I can wear I mean I don't know if I would add it to the line depends on what it looks like but I just gotta add the zipper to the back super cute I love me a bodysuit and I love me a strong shoulder honey okay so as far as what I'm gonna be working on today I'm actually going to be working on something that is in my sketch pad I thought I had um it can't, uh, whatever, it don't make a difference. Um, this is, it. I'm debating if I want to add this to my line, um, but if I do, great, but if I don't, I think this will still be a cute piece to wear on vacation. So as we know, fringe is definitely in, especially for resort wear, cause honey, you wanna like, <laughs> y'all I'm tired. I need some coffee. But um, this is the sketch right here. So not this one, this little number right here. So basically a V-neck with um, some angular cutouts um, and asymmetrical fringe. And I had this fabric. Y'all, I completely, I be forgetting that I have. Ooh, I forget that I have this big ass mirror right here. Mm -mm -mm. Anyways, so I have this fabric. Let me focus, focus. Ooh, honey. Um, that I a friend picked up for me. Um, it's showing up, I think it's showing up a little bit more red, but it's actually a deep blue 
base burgundy and then luckily I found some fringe that matches it perfectly which is hard to do unless you get anything unmatched um, I only have this little bit of yardage it's probably about four or five yards here but it is pretty wide so this is not unfortunately this is not anything that I can mass produce or sell or anything like that unless I talk to my vendor overseas and she can find this fabric but of course I would want it in a different color because it doesn't match my next collection but um I like it's a it's a stretch textured knit it's very thick it's probably about 230 between 230 and 260 um grams so it's a nice weight and I like to add what makes garment special would be the fabrication and this is some really nice fabric it's nice and thick so I'm going to cut this up and make this today I already drafted the pattern um, I'm not sure if the pattern is right so what I'm gonna do is use my bag of scraps down there focus man and find some knit that is similar to this I have some old spandex and I'm, I'm literally just gonna cut till up here because I want to make sure the placement of the cutouts and the v-neck is good in case I need to make any adjustments hopefully I don't um, and then I can just cut into this I don't think this is gonna take me a long time to make because it is a very simple silhouette the longest part probably will be to sew on the fringe but yeah guys you're about to watch me make this this one right here so let's get into it the damn battery died on my camera so the quality looks different it's charging but here is my pattern right here I draft all my patterns in Adobe Illustrator um, I have slopers based off of my um, company's um, measurements um, measurement chart so I just did the slopers um, on the computer just because it's a little bit faster and I can sneak and do it at work um, while we're slow um, because baby I need to, I need to be multitasking um, so I made them right here I get it printed at PDF plotter um, I only really get it printed there if I have a lot of um, if I have a lot of um, patterns to get printed out there's a total of four because you can print out up to 200 yards. There's a total of four patterns that I printed out, different ones. And then when I'm not in a rush, um, or I don't have as many patterns, I usually go to staples. I did this pattern last minute, um, and I'll show you guys what I make with this one too. This is another one, just me testing out a pattern and a style that I really wanna do. So I'm about to open this up and cut out my pattern so we can see what this is looking like. Okay, they, this is ridiculous. Like, I've never gotten anything from them like this. And then it's like, hell no, I'm not good. Hell no. Okay, this is really annoying because I've never gotten anything like this from them where it's literally like, what the fuck? This is unacceptable. I'm definitely about to um, send them an email and be like, why would my stuff come damaged like this? Like, seriously? Hell no. Y'all, I said that there are four patterns here. There are literally like five designs here. There's a tiered dress, tiered dress, cargo pants, cargo skirt, a bustier, and then the dress that I'm gonna make. I completely forgot that I did, oh, the, the um, the, um, the bustier is in two sizes. <laughs> I completely forgot that I did all this, like, this is what happens when you just be working, but I'm not gonna do this one yet. The one I'm gonna focus on is in the middle. And I'm still annoyed. I'm really annoyed at the fact that there's fucking holes all up and down these patterns because I like to keep these patterns and I wanna keep using them, um, especially if the patterns are good. And I don't wanna just keep freaking, um, I don't wanna freaking, um, I can't even think right now. Keep printing this stuff out because this gets expensive and then that's, that's a lot of paper wasted. So I'm annoyed that these got freaking holes in the middle of most of my patterns. Like what the fuck? I think I said 200 yards. Definitely not 200 yards, 200 feet. But these are only 100. 
No, fuck that. I'm gonna send the email and ask them can they resend these printed. Can they, I'm gonna fuck that. I'm gonna send the email and show them pictures of these holes, which I already took pictures of, and ask them to reprint it out because these patterns down here, the other patterns, I know that those patterns are good. I don't have to make adjustments to it. And I need this stuff to last. So they're gonna have to recut my shit, reprint my shit. Okay, so looking at the pattern like this, I feel like this is actually perfect. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and cut it out in the fabric, because I can kind of tell, because when I did the measurements from here to here, um, I just believe I did 16 inches from high point shoulder, which is, oh, 17. So it's like right at the waist. No, it started at 14 to 18 so like your waist is typically 16 um industry wise your waist is um 16 inches from the high point shoulder so like this is the shoulder seam and then this is the highest point of the shoulder seam so usually measure down um certain measurements but i think this actually might be good so i'm probably just going to go ahead and cut the fabric i'm going to cut this out and put it on my dress form but i think this might be good to do so I don't have to cut a muslin because honestly I don't really want to. serger thread to match this fabric I just cut everything out the only serger thread I have here in pink is this which is way too bright and this thing right here which is just not the same color and I'm somebody who matches my fabric to my my thread to my fabric it irks my soul whenever I watch videos and clips of people using white thread I get it it's so people can see but sweet baby Jesus it looks terrible so I'm gonna go to downtown LA um, not now it's too late and child, you gotta be, I only like to go in the morning, but I need to go to downtown LA to pick up the correct color thread. Um, and I need to go there anyway because I want to get some interfacing for that, some more interfacing for that top. And I want to pick up a couple of blue zippers and red zippers to match, um, to make that bodysuit. I actually have that fabric in red as well so I want to pick up some zippers to match that and some thread and I already yeah so that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna work on something else until then because I can't finish this because I don't have thread a couple of days later I am about to go to the garment district I got a bunch of errands I need to run sorry I'm whitening my teeth I'm about to take this off in like five ten minutes go to the garment district get my thread my zippers. Sorry you hear the dog whining. I'm doggy sitting and this dog is really annoying. <laughs> She's so needy. She has really bad anxiety and she wants attention 24 seven and I just can't do that. But her mama is coming to get her tomorrow. I was literally just playing with her for like 30 minutes, but I gotta go. Anyways, I gotta get some zippers, um, thread. Ooh, there is this one store that has literally a basket full of um, real leather hides for like $30. So I'm gonna look through that because I want a metallic corset, a real leather one. Um, but I mean, we'll just see. And then I need to go to the ATM because I always go to downtown LA with cash so I can barter. Um, and ATM. I really need to get my car washed, but I'll wait to do that till, till tomorrow. And then I need to go to Target. What is she doing? I need to go to Target and I need to go to the grocery store. Let's see if I do all that in one day. <laughs> Cause I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna happen. But anytime I need to go to downtown LA to match anything, I always take a swatch card with me. So this purple, this pink fuchsia is what I need thread for. This purple, um, 
I have thread to match this. It's like a sweater knit. I kind of want to make like a Rick Owens type dress or skirt, like that skirt vibe with it. I'm just going to bring it in case I see any trim or something that I like. And then, of course, the blue is the blue of, oh, I need to cut the red, of the jumpsuit, um, of the strong shoulder um, bodysuit that I need to do. And I also need to cut Actually, I'm gonna do something else with the red fabric. So I'm just gonna bring these. And if I see any fabric that I like, I'm gonna grab that. It's just gone down everywhere in the country except for California. I mean, it went down. It's no longer damn near $6. It's like $4 and some change. But bitch, that's still too high. Like, what the hell? And Gavin, why I ain't get my gas card? Everyone got their gas card with me, but you know what? I ain't complaining. It's only gonna take me 20 minutes to get downtown, which is what it's supposed to take, but you know, traffic be playing the shit out of us hold on businesses down here are closed i really hope to goodness that the stores some of them are open i did not even check like a dumbass because it's the day after christmas so they might be using today to no i see okay child they might be using today um to um celebrate the holiday you know like some jobs um I mean, I see some stores open and some of them are closed. Is there like a religion besides Kwanzaa after Christmas? Because we don't have Boxing Day in America. Damn, those are some bad ass cuts. thing is, look, most stores are open. It looks like a lot of stores closed down. My favorite trim store, that lady was so nice and she did, she never tries to rip me off. She always gives me good prices. They closed down this location and it's now a fabric not a fabric a plant place but i really wish i remembered where or i knew where they were going i'm gonna go in this other trim store that lady she be having an attitude but the owner cool but that uh, she don't girl get your life and i don't even think we got to pay for parking so oops sorry y'all so i am here oops i am here for that let me make sure i ain't gotta put my money in a samita getting hot I am done I got what I needed minus two things but that's okay oh baby it was getting warm I do not do that Whew. I got what I needed oh my god my hat oh lord have mercy I got what I needed plus a little extra more I didn't get the interfacing I have enough to make my samples I just wanted to laugh so I didn't have to come back down here so soon, but if I have to come back down here later on in the week, that's fine, because I can just come this time of day, turn my air conditioning on, because a bitch is sweating. Child, I done seen so many homeless people cuss out the um, security. <laughs> Child, they, ugh, I can't, but um, next, I'm about to go to Target, then the grocery store, and then I'm gonna go home. I Literally, the first store I went to, the one I was talking about where the woman got the attitude with the manager, the owner cool as soon as i walked in they had the thread oh my god and i just found out that the fabric store the trim store that i like the guy the owner died that's why they moved he had um he died of covid that's so sad fuck covid i'm so proud of myself because i did not go to the plant store like i want to it's one right there and it's a whole bunch of them mm -mm. i got one currently dying and i got to figure that bitch out because she getting on my nerves Oh child, I need to relax. I should have brought my water bottle. Y'all, I'm sorry, I'm hot. I don't do well being hot and sticky, especially when I just get out the shower. So a couple hours later, I was able to get what I needed um, and a little extra. So the first store I went into, who am I out of breath, y'all? I had to walk up, I had to walk up these stairs. Um, I got the thread to match the fabric, so I brought four of these. And when I was in that store, I also picked up four yards of this trim right here. 
It's a tassel trim. Hold on. It's a tassel trim that has like pearl and um, gold beads on it. Very pretty. Um, I only brought four yards of this. They had so much of this. Um, I was okay with getting four because I know I can get some more. And then, honestly, if I can find this on um, a website for cheaper, <laughs> I probably will get that. Actually, they'll, the owner will work with me on the prices. I got this from the same store that I was telling y'all about where the girl be trying to overcharge me and the owner be like, no, 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 no. So she was trying to sell it to me for $7 a yard which I wouldn't have got. Um, and then he was like, no, it's $5. So I got this for $5 a yard. Like y'all, this stuff is not cheap. This is why I think garments cost the way it costs. I know a lot of people will be like, it only costs $5 to make it. As somebody who's been working in the fashion industry for about 10 years, I've seen the cost sheets. Yes, it may cost $5 to make, but it doesn't cost $5 to ship it over. It, um, you're not including the um the cost to ship it over you're not including that 30 percent import tax you're not including the profit the company needs to make to in order to survive and pay employees like me like come on guys but anyways i think this is so pretty um i was gonna look for some fabric to put this on but i was like let me look at my stash first um and if not i can definitely find some if i could find some white or some cream color fabric like this. I have a whole vibe for what I would want to do with this because, hold on, I'll show you a sketch in a second what I would want to do with this, but I would have to just find the fabric first. And then I got a couple of these. They're pins, but I'm going to add them on headbands. Um, he, Is this a pin? Oh, he so girl, child, this was a dollar. So I was like, heck yeah. So I wanna put this on a headband. There's a method to my madness. So I brought about six of these just to test it out. Um, they didn't have the blue zipper, so I just got black, it's fine. Exposed zipper contrast. The blues that they had did not match my blue and I'd rather it be a contrast black than a crazy looking blue that just looked like I couldn't match. And what else did I get? I got some shoulder pads for my tops. So let's start sewing. The next day, good morning. And I pretty much got the base of the dress done. Oh, let me show you. So basically, I don't like that the contrast and the tape and the fabric is very high. So I'm going to actually measure up, here's my ruler. Diagonal, eight inches, cause this is 12 inch, a 12 inch tassel. And I do want it to overlay a little. I'm gonna measure up eight inches from the hem and get my, um, my um, what is it called? Uh, I got a brain for my um, tailor's chalk and kind of mark eight inches from the hem so that I'm gonna cut it. I would not typically do this in the fabric, but since this is basically a muslin, I have no issues doing it. I can always adjust my patterns later, um, but this is just for me to wear, so it's fine. Um, so I'm gonna measure up eight inches from the hem, cut it, and then I'm gonna sandwich this in between so that you don't see the raw, um, so you don't see that tape, because I really don't like the way that looks. And then for the hem, I'm going to hem it underneath. I'm gonna fold it under, and it's gonna be underneath so you also don't see this contrast trim. So let me measure up. So 
I completely forgot to um, show me actually wearing the dress. <laughs> New to this vlogging thing, guys. Sometimes I just I just get on a roll. So let me show you the dress. So this is the dress on. I love the fit of it. I am gonna make some changes though. I do wanna make the strap thinner. It is way too thick, so I'm going to make it, reduce it so it's about an inch. So right here, and I do have a bra on, so it's thick enough to cover the bra strap, and I'm going to drop it down. Like, I have really big boobs. I'm a 34, triple D, insane. Um, actually, 36 triple D, gained a little weight. So I do want to drop it down maybe like a half an inch um, so smaller chest girls can, you know, a little cleavage or whatever. Um, I was debating if I wanted to close the um, the holes up on the side. I posted it on my social media and people were like, no, keep it. Um, I do need to iron it so that it'll, that'll lay flatter. Um, of course, I love the length. I'm 5'10", so for shorter girls, it will definitely be taller and it is something you have to wear with... Um, heels but listen i'm the designer i'm gonna make everything tall but i love the dress it's it's so cute it's so comfortable i my um fabric lady actually emailed me so i actually think i am gonna try to find um a textured rib like this that goes vertical horizontal horizontal um and just get it in the colors of my collection so i'm really excited about this dress and i hope you guys like it please let me know what you think, um, and if you like more sewing vlogs like this, I have a whole sketchbook full of stuff that I'm gonna be working on, so. Yes, perfect resort wear, and this fabric is thick, honey. It is thick.